Hey everyone, we've got another Collider video movie review for you. This one is for the new comedy, Blockers. It is all about a trio of parents who stop their three daughters from having a uh, sex pact on yeah. prom night. 2018. So, yeah, yeah, that's that's a thing that, <laughs> that happens, and so is butt chugging, apparently. Yeah. So this movie, right at the beginning with the story, kind of really hooked me mainly because I think the chemistry between the three girls mm -hmm. who play the daughters is spot on and really charming and easy to get behind. Yeah. And then the same is true of the parents. The parents here aren't the best of friends, but right, right there were two really chemistry fueled, energetic, fun relationships to watch that just hurled me right into this whole scenario. Absolutely. You know, you feel the love they have for their kids and the worry that they have. And you know, that's what happens when you become a parent. All of a sudden you forget what it's like to be a teenager and be you know going through all the sexual stuff and exploring the drugs and all those things that they're doing in the movie right and the, what's really great about what you bring up Perry is their is the connection that they have the chemistry that they have that's the heart of the movie yes there's raunchy stuff that goes on and all the stuff they explore and really funny hilarious madcap stuff events that occur through the whole thing but their connection to each other the girls mm -hmm. never wavers yeah. the parents that's the journey we're watching the three girls are always with each other through the whole movie and that's really fun to enjoy and explore from their point of view. Finally, a raunchy teen comedy fully done from a, the young woman's point of view. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, and actually when I presented it, I missed another major part of the chemistry. I yeah. was separating in, them into two groups. It's also the parent with their respective yeah. daughter. Yeah. And that is another really strong point in the movie. And there's a couple of revelations and, and arcs per se yeah. that I don't think were as fleshed out as they maybe could have sure. been. But sure. still, the heart is in the right place and it worked so mm -hmm. really I think they got away with it well enough and I would say the same is true of the comedy as with any studio comedy sometimes you have a movie with a whole bunch of jokes and a certain percentage of them don't work and fall kind of flat and yeah that happens every so often sure. here but when these jokes work they work really well and I will yeah. tell you that there is one in particular that involves <laughs> Leslie Mann towards the end of the movie that had me in tears <laughs> to the point that that joke came and went and a couple seconds later I would be thinking about it and I yeah. think at that point we had hit a super sentimental scene of the movie and I'm just sitting there <laughs> giggling with tears coming out of my eyes yeah that's what I would say I would say I would agree with you completely I think that the, those are the if there's anything negative about the films I felt like the emotional coming together of the parents and the children near the end the scenes worked but they didn't quite work as well as I was hoping they would work but to find that much heart in a movie like this with all these incredible jokes and funny stuff that they're going through was really nice to discover this film does so much that you wouldn't expect from a comedy like this and really does raise the bar for comedies coming forward for 2018 not just in this genre but for 2018 itself yeah i mean between this and game night yeah, i'm game feeling night. pretty satisfied i mean you guys saw the headline of this review is it one of the best comedies in recent years you know it might be a stretch to classify it as that especially if you start digging into what came out in the yeah. last let's say five years but this is quality studio comedy absolutely quality studio comedy with joy jokes that yeah, there. I don't really like poop jokes and gross out <laughs> kind of humor, and there is a good deal of it in this, but yeah. it is well suited for the scenario, and that's really all I need is mm -hmm. as long as the movie and the story calls for it and the characters are well developed and they justify it, fine by me, yeah. and they got away with that here. Absolutely. I mean, you got to give love to John Cena, Ike Barinholtz, oh, yeah. and Leslie Mann, of course, but the young ladies themselves, the young teenagers, they absolutely deserve a lot of love. Catherine Newton, Geraldine Viswanathan, and Gideon Adler who is Pamela Adlin's daughter. Like just, there's so much great work being done by them and their journey that they're going through. These could be really two dimensional characters that don't have life, but they find these moments to really convey yeah. their inner life. And that's due to the great direction from Kay Cannon and some great stuff going on with their relationships and their connections through everything. And that leaves you feeling really positive and wonderful and that ending just gives you a nice a feeling afterwards that you enjoyed a great comedy because you know how life can be crazy and funny but still at the end of the day it's about your friendships and connections that you have in your life. I'm so happy that you said the young actress's name who plays uh, Kayla. Kayla yeah. Well I should say you know Geraldine Viswanathan yeah. and I'm gonna get used to saying that because 
there there's something special there. Yeah, yeah, the way absolutely. she the way she goes toe to toe with yeah. John Cena with oh, the comment because John Cena is great in this yep. too. The way the two of them play off each other is something else, and she has that same chemistry with every single person. The yeah. way she commands the room when she's there with the other two girls, yeah. that is an actress that I would 100% be keeping an eye on right now. Yeah. And then also we have Connor who played who played oh, her yeah. her prom date Chef. Miles Robbins who yeah. I believe might be in the new Halloween movie too. He was something else. There was just Absolutely. this really unique quirk to that character that I had a lot of fun with. And mm -hmm. again, the two of them had a whole lot of chemistry together. I really dug it. Yeah. I, I was so pleasantly surprised by this movie. I had so much fun. I was in tears as a young woman who went to prom yep. once myself. Definitely. There were so many little <laughs> things that you can draw connections to. Yeah. Really, I had a lot of fun with this movie. I'm jumping right in with the score here because sure. I'm confident in it. Giving Blockers a 7.5 out of 10. And to be completely wow. honest with this one, that number might go up on repeat viewings because I okay. do get the sense that these jokes are going to get funnier and funnier as I continue watching this yeah. because... I want to watch it again. The only thing that was lacking for me was a little bit of that depth. It felt mm. certain moments didn't feel as earned as maybe they should have been because there were a lot of big revelations towards the end of this movie that I think needed to be beefed up just a little bit. But really, I enjoyed almost every second of this thing. Yeah, I did too. That's why I give it a 9 out of 10. Oh, I wow. absolutely thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I had, The complaints that I have are really minor overall because you have to take this movie from its genre. You have to put it in its genre and see what it does. And it really accomplishes what I think it should accomplish and pushes the genre out to another to give it another perspective from the female's point of view that cannot be undervalued you know I love everything about this movie and what goes on inside of it and the message it leaves you with so to me the comedy is just I mean I'm telling you it's fall out of your chair funny there was giggles there was laughs galore in the theaters that we went to people were falling out of their chairs laughing and that's what you want from a movie like this so I couldn't I couldn't recommend it even more highly all right there you go it's our blockers <laughs> review when you catch the movie this weekend hit that comment section below share your thoughts right there and as always like and share this movie review and also keep out for a whole bunch more coming your way right here on the collider video youtube channel <laughs>